On February 6, 2018, Elon Musk and the SpaceX program sent the Falcon Heavy rocket into space on its maiden voyage. Being a test mission, SpaceX couldn't reasonably send any incredibly expensive satellite payloads up with the Falcon. Apparently, even an offer of free transport into space wasn't enough to entice anyone to risk years of development and millions of dollars to hitch a ride. So Musk decided to send his own car into space, which was pretty convenient because he just happens to be the CEO of Tesla Motors. The victim became his 2008 model Tesla Roadster, painted in luxurious midnight cherry, with a spacesuit clad mannequin behind the wheel and everything. It really was Musk's personal car, not just a dummy or a prototype built specifically for the launch. During early planning in 2012, he called it the one I drive to work. And now it's out there. The Falcon launch worked as planned, and although the car was released into space a little bit later than forecast, it's currently hurtling in the general direction of where Mars will be in a few months. The car won't hit Mars, and it's forecast to enter a large elliptical orbit around the Sun. At its furthest, the car will be roughly 250 million kilometers from the Sun, but even seasoned astronomers claim that the Roadster's orbit isn't yet defined enough to know for sure how that might change. But the car and its casually posed driver have been given an official interplanetary designation of Starman 2018-017A. So what's to become of the first ever used car in space? Musk made grandiose claims that it would hurtle through the cold vacuum of open space for millions or billions of years, but is that realistic at all for an object that was never designed for space travel? The poor thing was intended to cope with a few years of rush hour traffic and trips to the grocery store, not interstellar radiation and micrometeorites. Unfortunately, the future looks pretty bleak for Starman 2018-017A. This just in. Space is a pretty harsh environment. According to Musk, the car wasn't modified in any way before launch. So, that appears to mean that the tires are still inflated and all fluids are still on board. You'd think that the tires would explode from the increased differential pressure in space, but maybe not. At the time of its launch, the Starman Roadster appeared to be wearing 16-inch tires, and Tesla's recommended inflation pressure for those is 30 psi. Earth's air pressure is 14.7 psi. So, dropping the surrounding pressure to 0 psi in space is the equivalent to overinflating the tires by 14.7 psi on Earth. A 30 psi pressure differential in used consumer grade tires is pushing things a little bit, but almost certainly isn't enough to make them explode. Instead, the tires will likely become very brittle from the cold and from the relentless effects of radiation in space, and they'll slowly leak down over time. Also, the aluminum wheels will contract as they cool, and the seal between metal and rubber will loosen up and release some air. Any sealed vessels on the car will suffer a similar fate, probably degrading and leaking slowly rather than providing any showy explosions. Basically, anything that can withstand a 15 psi overpressure is likely to be fine for the first while, and most vehicle components are built with that kind of margin in mind. Any unsealed containers of fluid have probably boiled away into space already. Most of the car's other components are in for a rougher future. Organic material doesn't do well without the radiation shielding that Earth's magnetic field provides. Most scientists believe that the American flags planted on the moon during various missions were bleached white by unfiltered UV radiation before very long. 2011 images of the moon landing sites appear to show that the flags are still physically there and not reduced to the ashes that many predicted, but they're still very likely brittle enough after nearly 50 years of harsh exposure to fall apart completely if they were ever moved or even touched. And that's the likely fate of any cloth or leather components inside the Tesla Roadster. By the time the vehicle is next close enough to observe from Earth in 2021, exposed interior cloth, the mannequin driver, and possibly the red paint itself will be fading into a bright white and will likely be degrading quickly. According to William Carroll at Indiana University, radiation is likely to destroy most of the car in relatively short order. Carbon fiber, rubber, and even plastic are all affected. Bleached, frozen, and brittle, the car's solid components are even more susceptible to micrometeorite strikes. Even an object smaller than the head of a pin contains enormous energy when collisions happen at thousands of kilometers per hour, and any plastic or rubber is probably going to shatter on impact. The most recent calculations in the days after the launch figure that the Roadster's orbit will not extend far enough out to reach the asteroid belt that SpaceX was anticipating. But the car will still be hit by debris like every other object that travels through space. Unlike the purpose-built crafts though, the Roadster has no mechanical shielding or hardened surfaces. 
So, only the aluminum and glass components are likely to survive the onslaught of radiation over time, but they will still take a beating from debris. The laminated glass windshield won't shatter for the first while, but the thin layer of plastic between laminated glass layers to prevent the shattering will become brittle from radiation and cold. Any other glass on the car is designed to shatter, and it will when it's inevitably struck by some tiny object whether in a year or a thousand years. If nothing else happens to the car, the aluminum components will probably last for an extremely long time. At this point, nobody's entirely sure where the Roadster will go over the enormous time frames of open space travel. The worst case scenario is that it hits a celestial body and deposits human bacteria that could hinder or destroy any native life that might be struggling to survive. As it stands, that seems pretty unlikely. But you just never know how things can change over hundreds or thousands of years. Even the tiny force of plastics and other materials off-gassing into space might push this new spacecraft into a totally different course over time. What is known is that it won't be a shiny red sports car floating through space for as long as Elon Musk hopes. Space looks pretty empty, and practically speaking, it is. But there's just so much stuff out there moving at extremely high speeds that nothing escapes unscathed. Crafts built to weather the storm can stay healthy and intact for long durations, but a car isn't one of those things. If humans advance to a point of capturing the Starman Roadster for a museum at some point in the future, the odds are good that it will look much like the other automobiles from our own past that have been pulled from caves and lakes for display purposes. So what do you think? Was launching Musk's Roadster into space kind of a neat experiment that brings astronomy and common life closer together? Or was it a ridiculous display of personal ego that will only cause litter out there and potentially pollute a planet somewhere? Let me know in the comments. And while you're cruising by, hit the like button and subscribe for more from the Wild AC channel. Thanks for watching.